So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this type of cool looking sky in Unreal Engine 5. So the first thing that you have to do, I will just exit the full screen mode. And so the method that I use in this one is the plane method. So what I did is like I just download a, if I go to my content browser, I just download a sky texture like this. If I show you like this in the sky texture and i just put this thing in a plane and it looks very good okay so this is the first method that you can try to create realistic skies and the second option is like you can use hdris to get realistic sky so there is a website of uh, hdri like polyheaven.com you have to just click on this one and you will see something like this you have to just go to the hdri section if i go down like this browse hdri and there you will see so many hdri so most of the time you can't use this type of hdri because there are some kind of trees stuff like that so you have to go to like skies section and you have to go like pure skies so in this section you will get only the sky so you can use any of them whatever you want to use it doesn't matter according to your scene and you can use these things to make your realistic sky okay so i will just show you how to use this hdri what you have to do you have to first go to your plugin and then you have to write hdri you have to enable this plugin it will show for a restart just restart your engine and then you will uh you have to go to your place actor if you didn't find this option what you have to do you have to go to windows and there you will get an option called place actor you have to enable this thing and you will get something like this you have to just write hdri and you have to just drag drop this hdri into your scene okay so when you drag your hdri it will look something like this you can see uh, make sure that you set your camera properly before using this one so for me it is looking something like this what you can do next is you have to just down this thing a little bit like this and if you want to increase the size of the hdri then what you can do you can just go to the section of this hdri detail panel and what you can do is you can increase the size like to something 30,000 so it will be covered the whole area like this and if you're seeing this type of stretching issue you can fix this just match this value with 30,000 and it will be good to go 30,000 yeah now you can see it is perfectly fine and aligned with that so and if you set your camera like this you will see the hdri is probably working it is lighting up your scene light up your scene and it is working like that and for me i don't want to use this hdri so what i will do i will just go to this section and you have to download the hdri from that website so suppose i just download this one make sure that you use hdri not exr and you can download 4k whatever you want to use uh, you can download these things and then you have to just export your hdri into unreal engine 5 okay so there is a hdri that i downloaded it is 10k resolution what i will do i will just select this one and i will go to the hdri detail panel and you have to just press this button okay and you will see your hdr is there and if you want to reduce the intensity of the sky what you can do you can just go there intensity and you can make 0.1 something like that and your sky will be visible okay and there is a very useful setting in the hdri you will see there is a skylight option you can put the same hdri there uh, if i change the source type to sl specific cube and if i assign the hdri you will see it light up our scene and i can individually control the settings like you can see it is increasing the brightness of the area but it is not affecting the sky okay so i can increase or reduce the intensity of this area by skylight and if you want like to increase the intensity of the sky also you can go to your hdri drop and you can just increase the intensity of this okay like that so like this you can use like realistic skies and the second option is the plane option it is very simple i will just hide this hdri you have to just drag drop a plane like this so you can see it's a plane and you you have to just write like plane you will get this thing you have to just drag drop this thing there like that and you have to increase the scale to something bigger like like 15,000 not 15,000 like 1,500 something like that and you will see something like this you can download a sky texture from google so if i show mine you can see this is my sky texture that i download from the internet and you have to just create a material so just right click go there create a material it will show something like this you have to click on this one and what you have to do you have to just drag drop your texture 
like this and you will get something like this you have to just connect this thing to the base color and then in the specular it doesn't it is not necessary do not use this because it's already zero it, it is not affecting that much so uh, after that what you have to do you have to just control c this thing and then you have to paste this thing same thing like that and then you have to connect this thing to a multiply node and in order to get the multiply node what you have to do you have to just press m and then left click okay hold your m button in your keyboard and then left click okay so it will create the multiply node and then you have to uh, create a parameter so you have to hold s and then left click you will get a parameter okay rename this thing to emission because we are controlling the emission strength of this thing and then you have to just connect the all your nodes like this and it will be good to go okay so like this you can create your sky like this and then if i show you the real camera view if i hide my hdri so it is blown up right now because i need to enable the post process volume in your case it will be not uh, look like that it will be normal uh it will look something like this okay and you can see it is looking very good looks very realistic and yeah it worked perfectly fine but there is some limitations like you can't see anything like this area so if you are just if you know like that you are using this shot only and you are focus your camera on this angle only then it is perfectly a uh, best option for your scene to use uh, image as a plane and if you are moving your camera like up and down like backward or up like that then i will recommend you to use like hdri for that thing okay so yeah that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching